Alright, so welcome back to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle Pre-Calculus Ellipse Part 2, Center at HK. So, yung previous video natin is ellipse at center at 0, 0. Ngayon naman sa HK, which is yung center niya, hindi na sa origin. So, we have two equations. Mapansin mo, that will be, the, the first one will be the quantity x minus h square over a square plus the quantity y minus k square over b square is equal to 1. And the second equation will be the quantity x minus h square over b square plus the quantity y minus k square over a square is equal to 1. Inikaiba lang kung nasaan yung a and b. We have the ellipse formula table guide. So mapapansin mo yung a square nasa may x siya. Pag ito nangyari, the major axis is parallel to the x-axis. And the center is hk then. Foci will be h plus minus c, comma, k. And the vertices will be h plus minus a, comma, k. So, paano naman pag yung a squared nasa y? So, it will be major axis parallel to the y-axis naman. And the center will be hk pa rin. The foci will be h, comma, k plus minus c. And the vertices will be h, comma, k plus minus a. Alright, next we have the opening of the ellipse guide. So mapapansin mo, mas mahaba yung major axis sa may x-axis pag kung nasaan yung a square. Okay, remember, mas malaging mas mataas ang a sa b sa ellipse. Pag, mas, pag yung a square naman sa may y siya, ang major axis mo, mas mahaba siya pa y-axis. Parallel siya sa y-axis. Makikita na siya sa image. So, let's have an equation sa panelips at vertex hk. So, first one, we have to find the center, foci, and vertices of the ellipse with equation the quantity x plus 4 square over 9 plus the quantity y plus 2 square over 4 is equal to 1. So, let's check the table again. Mapapansin nyo, ang 9 ay mas mataas sa 4, di ba? At yung 9 na yan, nasa may x. So, we're going to use the upper part ng table. So, that will be yung a squared na sa may x siya. And its major axis is parallel to the x-axis. Center is hk pa rin, and the foci will be h plus minus c, comma k, and the vertices will be h plus minus a, comma k. So, for the center, may kita natin agad, that will be negative 4 and negative 2. Yung sa equation mo is x plus 4 and y plus 2, you just have to negate it. That will be negative 4 and negative 2. So we already have the center. Ngayon, para makita naman natin yung foci, we need to solve for c. So remember, we had the formula a is greater than b and b squared is equal to a squared minus c squared. And a squared is equal to 9 and b squared is equal to 4. So algebraically, 4 is equal to 9 minus c squared. You have to solve for c squared. c squared is equal to 5, and c is equal to plus minus the square root of 5. Okay, so that alam natin yung c, malalaman na natin yung foci. Based on sa table, that the foci is h plus minus c, comma, k. So foci natin will be negative 4 plus minus square root of 5, comma, negative 2. Alright, next, next have the vertices. So, Kapag vertices naman, napin muna natin yung major axis. Vertices of major axis. Remember, yung a natin ay 3, di ba? I said a squared is equal to 9, so a is equal to 3. And the vertices of major axis, yung ayon sa table, that is h plus minus a, comma, k. So the vertices of major axis, dalawa yan. So the first one is negative 4 plus 3, comma, negative 2. And yung pangalawa is negative 4 minus 3, comma, negative 2. Kasi diba plus minus. So simplify natin, that will be the two major axes. Vertices of major axes is negative 1, comma, negative 2, and negative 7, comma, negative 2. Alright, so last one, we just have to find the vertices of the minor axis. Remember that b is equal to 2. Kasi b squared is equal to 4, diba? So b is equal to 2. To find the vertices of the minor axis, we have h, comma, k plus minus b. So yung b palagi ito yung sa minor axis. Major axis will be 4a. So that will be negative 4 
comma, negative 2 plus 2. And the other vertex ng minor axis will be negative 4, comma, negative 2 minus 2. Simplify that, that will be negative 4, 0, and the other one will be negative 4 and negative 4. Alright, so that's the end of the video of Pre-Calculus Ellipse Part 2. Next video naman will be Part 3, General Equation ng Ellipse. We have the equation ax squared plus bx plus cy squared plus dy plus e is equal to 0. Paano natin na kasagutan yan pag binigyan tayo ng ganyan equation? If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.